Game one between Spain and United Kingdom, and we have again Adesu pulling out the bus. So Saddle Bruff is missing this time on UK. So we have some subs joining in. Red Munchlakes and Chinoa are taking over. So, a bit of a different team for UK. Let's see what Toon can do. Can they at least win one match in this tournament? Would be quite nice for either team, right? To at least not go just losing every single match. So who's gonna take at least one win in this tournament? Is it gonna be Adesu in Spain or Toon Slim and Team United Kingdom? I think Toon's already very ready to... Uh, yeah, actually my cam should be gone. I don't... True, 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 thanks. It's kind of weird. We already have an extension station wait, final push, walking over to the left side, looking for something, but we have Wreck here. Being already ready for this and is gonna try to block them out. Make sure this Aegis Slash Eject Jack buttons after him are quite early already. And humans on the chase. Can they get the first blood right here and find a push CTV? I think that they do so. He goes over. He's just gonna buy more time. He's just gonna be very annoying. He's gonna try to go for this red buff, but he doesn't get it. And there, well, there we go. He goes down. First blood for Team Spain. Viva Adesu's being very aggressive on bot side already. Almost level 5. He has a fully charged up uh, face stinger, so he's gonna do a crazy amount of damage. There we go. He gets the last hit quite easily. And he's almost level 5 already. Let's be careful. The Toon is here. Toon has red buff as well. Can he at least score? Oh, he's probably gonna die right here. I don't know if that's worth it to go for that score. If he's gonna die. Does that focus, but he's gonna turn into Toon Slim. But the Rapper is still there. He has eject button and he actually gets out in time, but Reki is not gonna die. He tried to help him out. He got Bustfold out, which is probably worth it more anyways. And made him the final push now, diving in, but Adesu has the superpower. Slams him back into his own goal. But besides that, not much more is gonna happen. And they're gonna back off on our Yeah, she's so, so aggressive. He just wants more. You can feel it. He superpowers the uh, EDD into the bush and he takes the last hit in a 1v3 scenario. Goes back in. We got punch. Final push is diving in again. Superpower flings him back. And it could be KO for Adesu. I think it is. Yes, but Svino picks it up for Team Spain. And Adesu is so aggressive. Another superpower comes through onto Corrin. But I think Slowbro is gonna easily lift this. Well, he's gonna score 5 4 points. And stack his attack with even more. Toon Slim back to the jungle, getting to level 7 slowly. We also have Human being his own jungle. Also try and get level 7. But Toon has been having a small lead in the jungle at least. Thanks to Aegislash buying off time in the early game. So. Yeah. But this one now clearing the stuff. Or does he have Cookie or Attack Weight? I'm not even sure what he has. I didn't pay attention. I thought it was just Attack Weight. Trying to steal this away with the Mega Punch. And find a push? Actually, wait. Oh, Human died to topside. I actually missed that. Human goes down. Double Boss over to the Aegis Slash. Adesu on bot side now. The grab doesn't go quite through. And Toon Slim is level, almost level 8 already. He's very, very strong right now. Looking for this fight right here. David is very, very deep. Has to be careful. He's getting ripped off slow by Sinais. And he might just fall. The Blaze Kick goes in. And... Find a push, picks up this KO. Rek here is also going to go down. Adesu, can he at least find a counter KO? He's so close, but he's super power. He slams Slowbro into Sindays and kills Toon Slim with it. Is he still gonna lift this? No, he goes on to the Butter Spot Rapid Spin. But he select he slams Slowbro on the top of Sindays and he gets at least one KO for himself. Human diving with the cross shop. Can you look for any KOs? There's a submission and he goes down though, but David picking up the revenge KO. And yeah, goes down. Corin with a big scout. Who's gonna live right here? But Corin goes down. David is still alive. He had a very good traveling game a few days ago as well, being absolutely massive on this Pokemon. They're gonna try and score here. Final push is gonna try to stop this final push from happening. And he's getting pushed around by the traveling this way. There's a lot of pushing going on. Now he's getting slammed around. Now he's getting punched. He's just getting ping ponged around. Ice Fang into SmackDown, into Super Power. He couldn't even control his character for like five seconds there. Just getting ping-ponged around. <laughs> Being by Team UK is gonna pick up the top edge Eleki though. And they're gonna start pushing this in. Can they break the goal before? No. But it's gonna go in. And the cat maybe scored 20 points. Okay, it's gonna 17 over KO, which puts them 5 points ahead. That's totally fine. She knows gonna try to lift now, but the curse explosion should be enough to eject button away from it. But David is too fast. The curse explosion is there and he gets the KO Toon is being very careful right here. And Human knows it! He's waiting in the bush for Sindais and Toon Slim gets smacked into the ground by two WWE champions, but champion Basso taking out a bunny. Quite quite unfair. And another submission comes through, another superpower, and this thing smacked around <laughs> by this WWE duo running around rampant. Human's gonna take these very survey and it's gonna maybe break the goal in time unless Shino can stop it. Shino is here in time with the dive. Is able to stop the goal chanting from happening. And uh, Adesu, another smackdown onto Corrin. Another horn leech. And they just. Is this just the comp they're playing? 
I just realized. They're just playing a push comp. That's their plan. Their entire plan is to just push people around with Ice Fang, Egg Scissors, Submission, Bustle. <laughs> they all have a horn each. They all have push mechanics. I just realized. Yeah, it's actually a heat comp. I just realized that. It took me a while. But all of them have mechanics to just push people around. Look at this. <laughs> they just can't move. <laughs> they just cannot move. Another smackdown. Another superpower. The Hornish is there as well, but this time there's no follow-up on the next thing. They're just kind of going for the Reggie Rock. So Spain having a lot of fun right here. Nice Pyro Unite move by. Oh, what was that? Eject button? What the fuck was that Adesso move? But he doesn't he doesn't get it, they all die. That was an insane smackdown eject button onto the Cinder Ace, but sadly it was not enough to get the Cinder Ace KO. But look very nice by Adesso. Nice try. Now they see high house power into Ice Fang. Oh, but the horn each misses. She knows it's gonna eject button into the base though to get the berry. I don't know if that's. I could have just eject button away to safety, I feel like, instead of eject button towards enemy base. But he's gonna run for the hits. Oh, there's the submission. There's the ice fang. There's the high horsepower as well. It's <laughs> getting smacked around. Ah, that's now another smackdown. Egg Slash has no chance of moving at all. Absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. This is uh, okay. Team Spain are my favorite. My favorite teams to find this tournament. All right, what else can they do? Can they find some more pushing around? We're gonna start pushing this bottom goal now. Can they go for Aegis Slash? I think I missed the Ice Fang, so they're just gonna punch him away. Adesu is like, yeah, just go away, leave us alone. He's gonna score points. Oh, no, they might have to base though. Can they base in time? Adesu is trying to base. But Corrin's able to stop with the auto attack, and now the energy like he's pushing in. Cromwell Knight already taken on the Crusher. But Champion Knight completely whiffs. Human goes down, and we have the Red Jelly. Going in and they were able to kill this gate, this, this goal. 237 points now, but Champ with the Yike going on to Toon Slam. Knocks him up, has the Ice Fang, no, the High Horse Power first. Ice Fang onto the Cramorant. What else can he do with this? Shino is still living, barely, and he actually lives. He actually lives, but the Cross is able to take him down. Now Toon Slim is on the run, Submission is there. Gonna chase down Toon. And the Unite move of Toon is gonna be enough. He gets the KO on my Champ somehow. Based up his passive Lay Stack, and that one auto attack is able to kill off the Mud Champ. Just barely. I can't believe he got that. So, so close. If I just bots like killing the slow bro, but he's gonna probably fall to Shinoa now, yes. Ramran picks up a KO for himself. And we have 13 points going in right here. Shinoa's probably also gonna score. But we already have David moving back to bot side. Javanan's gonna maybe look for something right here. Has the horn lead, but he misses. Those two Pokemon are pretty hard to hit, of course. We have also Unstoppable right here. We have a Dive Air Slash one, so it's actually quite difficult to hit those Pokemon. But he's still going. He's gonna try gonna try again, but he's dying. Yes, the Horn Leech. I'm quite exploded. But you know, it's diving in. Gets just smacked down by Bustle again. And Munchlax also Blaster is also going down. But Toon just scoring 47 points in enemy base. He does not care. He just scores 47 points in their base. Can they even kill this? They have no damage. Can they kill, kill this in time? Five seconds are left. Four seconds are left. Three. They can't kill it in time. It's too tanky. They have no damage. <laughs> they have no damage. And the Red Eyes despawns. They tried so hard. But in the end, it just despawned. Alright, how the teams are going to play this last team fight. I want to see some pushing around. There's the submission. Do we have a super power spell? No, there's the Amnesia first. And now Blastoise, though. Blastoise can't be CC'd. And they're just bursting Rekvaz, and Rekvaz is dead. Team UK just went for it. They're like, oh, you guys are ta they're damaging our tanks? Let's say, say goodbye to Rekvaz. But Mamos Swine goes down, David goes down, Trevenant, Machamp is already down. And that should be first game going to UK. <laughs> they just, I mean, yeah. We have, we have, you have a Sundays, right? In Aegis Slash, you do Rekvaz very fast. And that's the surrender vote. First game goes over to United Kingdom. Slow bro just buying no time. Ends up costing Spain. Game one. Oh, that was a nice try. Very funny team comp. For game two in the draft, we have UK with Egg Slash, Basui Gengar, Slow Bro Blast Toys. Looks like a just gang of boys on Team UK. Just five boys chilling. And for Spain, we have a Dodrio with a Zaora, Serena, Snorlax, and a Decidrui. Game number two. This time we have Toon Slim on Basol. And Adesu is trying out the Dodrio for a second time in this tournament. Maybe it's going to have a better time this time around. 
very tanky teams again. Well, I mean, Spain is a bit squishier, but uh, UK is quite interesting looking. We also have a Gengar. Who's gonna go jungle in this match? Is it gonna be Gengar jungle? Because we have Toon Slim jungling always, right? Yeah, it's a it's a lane Gengar. Lane Gengar. We have Adesso going for an invade already very early on. Zooming over, but can he win against Basso? Basso early game is super super strong. Has to be careful not to just die to him. We also have oh humans auto joining now. They're gonna double invade. They're gonna double invade Toon. Who's not gonna be happy seeing this? I just was trying to go for this by turn in the end, but there's really a lot of damage to it. And Toonslim is just killing Snorlax right now. You should have underestimate the early game damage of a Basso, it's absolutely crazy. And he still got the last hit, I'm pretty sure, there. I just was able to get take it. And now we already have first blood to 4 Team Spain on bot side. Gengar goes down. Then Gengar already down. <laughs> just running around <laughs> with his doo-doo. And he's gonna claim the buff now. Unless Toon can make it over in time? Can I kinda make it? The face thing? The face thing I guess the last time on Adesu now gets licked. But should be fine, maybe. He's just rooking around. He's just being so annoying. This Pokemon is just absolutely hilarious to watch. Top side. We have first KO for UK, but she knows it's going to trade. Back here. No, he gets a double KO before he goes down. This is also just dying. Made out of absolute paper, this owl. <laughs> Not that so. <laughs> he's still just running around. Uh, he's too late now. This thing is surely going to die, right? The Blepuff is there. Okay, this finally. Toon gets him. Annoying bird. Goes down. Back here is going to pick up level 6 now, looking for level 7, and we have find a push very deep on the side. That's a dream eater build, and 2 picking up double kill on top side. 2 killing a Serena. And looking very strong now, already level 6. Going to look for maybe the snow, uh, Snorlax 2. Can he do it? Not quite yet. Going back to bot lane, we have uh, Desu going down to find a push, who's literally 1 HP. Stitch is going to pick up this KO. It's gonna go into Plas Plasmoor, but he has the focus band. I don't know if Zero can win this. Doesn't look like he can. Yeah, there's no chance, especially not against Skyd. Mid birds up. Who's already going for it, but Rock here, level 7 already. Does he have Spirit Jackets or does he. Yeah, that's the Spirit Jacket. Toon just ejectbuttons onto him with a smackdown. Oh, but the Super Power misses because of the eject button of the Sidrui. Nice eject button on both sides. Toon going very aggressive, but the eject button of the Sidrui is enough to dodge the Super Power. And now we have Adesu, he's getting telekinesis, he might just die here. Oh no, we have a Hex, not a Dreamy, that's a Hex, sorry. And Adesu goes down again. Final push now, looking for this. It's the show, has to be careful. There's no chance against the Hex Ganger for sure not. And he goes back in, gets smacked down. The superpowers there, no it's not. The full heal is enough to stop it. But now he doesn't have fully against the Hex. And Adesu, can he finally get a KO? He's so close to it. He gets smacked down as well again, Toon Slim. But he has Leech Life. Gets sucked. And the goes down. So Team UK having great early game right here. Adesu not really in the game yet. He's struggling quite hard to find anything. He just dies. On this Dodrio. Already 148 points for Team UK. In this early game. And finally push going to go for this Veggie Steel, which he can quite easily. He has Hex, right? And Hex has great single target damage against objectives as well. They don't move, you can always hit them. So he's gonna have it in a few hexes right here. Takes on the Reggie Steel for Team UK. What can Toon Slim do with level 9 now? Dodo, you're still running around. I just gonna try and go for this blue buff now. Hopefully, yes, try attack. Yeah, try attack. Gonna look for level 7. Or either pick up agility or the G jump kick. Agaslash going in very deep right. He's gonna start heating up with the shield for but not enough. David stomping onto Agaslash. Now Toon Slim is under lock pressure. He has the leech life though, but I don't think so. He's just gonna die. Yeah, even gets Sarina Unite moved. I guess he kinda had to because Final Push is killing everything else right now. Gets double kill already, resets the Hex onto the Serena and just Unite moves away. Still a very, very close fight. Hex going in, he has Unite move, and they go down. Final push though. <gasps> One more Hex too much. Can the Sidrui get a counter KO? No. <laughs> it's just Unite moving under the goal now. And just goes down. The life of a Sidrui. Even under the own goal with his Unite, he just dies. And now Snorlax under a lot of attack. Human jumping in, trying to heal for his team. And this Aegis Slash Unite, I don't think it hit too much. They're diving in right now. I don't even know what's happening in this fight. Basso taking the first KO. They're going so deep. So, uh, Blast is Unite hitting absolutely nothing. Is he gonna have the next Rapid Spin up? He's just gonna score points. He's gonna KO the goal. Now they can maybe look for more David's gonna go to the bottom spout Rapid Spin. It's an absolute mess up here. Viva Ledesu almost level 9 finally. 
He's gonna try and score some points here. Does he have score sheet? Yes, he has score sheet. But he's gonna die. <laughs> he just has the agility and he gets sucked again. The leech life is enough to take him down. Maybe Slam is up here and Reggie Lecky is still up. Unslam. Blocking another for Team Spain. He's gonna launch in. Oh, he has Smackdown, right? He's gonna Smackdown someone. There we go. There's a Smackdown. And that's pretty much all he does. We have Final Push taking away the jungle. Right now from Team Spain. And Team Spain has to do something. Slow Bro does go down. Ah, they're still looking for more. Blastus is dropping very low. The Spirit Check here from downtown. Flies in. And picks him up, but final push can just score 40 points right here. This is a freebie. 40 points going. But on top side, you're getting KOs for Team Spain. We're closing the gap and they're gonna go for a Jeleki now. Bot side, we have Basol. Basol has no chance against David on Serena. He goes down. And Serena's probably gonna pick up this Reggie Rock as well, unless Plasmo can do something about it. As these guides. But uh, yeah, there's no way you can fight a Serena. As long as Serena uses the drop kick and the shield, there's no way Plasmo can win this. But Shinoa is here now. Mega Slash. Can he find the second sword? He can. To boost auto attack. Into another boost auto attack. Serena goes down. Reggie Rock goes down. This is on top lane. is trying to buy time. Was team for the Reggie Rock. Reggie Lecky to go in. And another snipe. Reggie is very accurate on these spirit jackets right now. But he, he tries to run in to score with the Reggie Lecky. And just gets absolutely blown into pieces. But still. It went in. It's only a six point difference now. He tried, but it, that's just being decidual. You can never score on this Pokemon. You just, you just can't score, but Stitcher comes in from the side with the Void Switch. And he's gonna score 40 more points. I don't think he even cares if he dies. He's gonna unite, but he's gonna kill one. And gets two. Scores 40 points. Finishes off the goal. And then gets two more KOs for himself. Nicely done. That is for sure very worth it. Now we have one minute left for Rayquaza to spawn. This time Spain has to be a bit more aggressive. In the last two minutes. So the same doesn't happen last game, like or what happened to last game. They just got flipped. Human diving onto Toon Slim has the block. What can Toon Doon do? He's just eject buttons away. But he's still dropping super low. He's gonna leech life, but it gets cancelled by the heavy slam. That's the problem of leech life. It can get CC'd. But the blaster is doing a lot of damage in the back line, but not able to finish anyone off. Heavy slam goes into egg slash, but the sky is able to snipe this enjoy away. And meanwhile, we have Adesu on bot side going for the blast. So he's gonna score 39 points uncontestedly. And human running for his life. They're gonna keep chasing. And now this is just gonna try run away. He should be able to recall in time. Yeah, he's gonna recall in time. We okay, will be too late. And that's uh the game is very even. We still have a 70 point lead for Team Spain going to the last two minutes. And two is only 12 and a half now, but I guess Basso doesn't lead much many levels. He just has to CC someone and hope that his team finish them off together. This bottom goal is very low, very bad for Dodi to score on. Since you can't overcap on this Pokemon, so it will just be, you know, third of his actual points. So that's not something you really want to happen. I just want to clear the goal to clear the goal. Rayquaza still full HP. We have a fight going on already, and Snorlax getting locked down. Goes on to the Hex Gengar. And the Leech Knife. Couldn't move really at all. And not other on the side. What is he going to look for? She knows very low. But Rayquaza is dropping 2.5 HP already. And Team Spain, they have to do something about this. David is typing in Basso Unite. Goes on to the Decidra, and he just disappears. This <laughs> situation just disappears. Same for Serena. They have no chance. Hex Gengar doing too much damage to Unite. <laughs> Adesu trying to steal with the Unite move, but it can't go over walls. That's not how it works. It has to run around. He's gonna try and score points now. That was. <laughs> That's not how <laughs> Dodi Unite works. And Basu's gonna score. Gengar's gonna score. Aegisage is gonna score. And Team UK is 160 points ahead right now. They're gonna finish off Zaora. Last choice as well in the enemy base, but yeah, they can just chill now. They could look for some more style points, but it probably would be better just to go back and defend. The game is not over yet, there's 50 more seconds on the timer. And Blast Choice goes down. There's literally one goal up as went. Well. you can always pressure the enemy base at the same time, so... There's still 40 seconds left. Of what the Hexkinger can do. Hexkinger is dropping low right here. If he dies, it could be a disaster. But Smackdown helps him out to get out. Heavy Slam is there, and Gengar, the block into fall wrong, kinda in the wrong direction. And Gengar's gonna live. Gengar's gonna live, and now it's probably game. 25 seconds left. Toon is just buying a lot of time. For Team UK. And Alessio's gonna maybe score right here, but yeah, they're defending. 
13 seconds left. And I think Team UK takes game number two as well. One map, oh, wait, what? <laughs> one map went away from actually at least winning one best of five in this tournament. They're trying to score, but if they had more time, where they almost had it there. If they had four more, three more seconds, they would have actually maybe won. Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> they had three more seconds, they would have won. Oh my god. What a... Wow. Oh my. <laughs> Just three more seconds and the game would have been decided for Team Spain. Oh well. That's, that's what the timer is for, right? You had ten minutes, you didn't use those ten minutes. Now it's over. Right, UK takes game number two. So who's playing the Dodrio? It's Toon Slim. We have Toon Slim on the Dodrio and Adesu on Blast Toys. Honestly, Spain's comp looks very tryhard now this time around. But they have double goal getters. Interesting, both pink blobs going for goal getters. But yeah, their comp looks very decent. Good front line, good supporting, a big damage here in the back, Nazumere. So I do like what I'm seeing. Let's see what they can do with it. Let's see how much Toon can do on, on Dodrio. He's also a Dodrio enjoyer. I think he plays the same bit that Lutano does with the jump kick. And full here, yeah, as well. Jump kick and try attack, of course. Everyone's playing try attack now. Makes the most sense to play. And we have no invading this time around. No invading for this game. Both the teams just laning. I like the Golgatas. I think Golgatas is quite underrated right now as an item. I think it's actually quite strong. We're finally in a meta where Golgatas is actually a decent item. Just obviously, it's a bit annoying if you don't have any escapes, right, on Pokemon, so... But yeah, anyone that has a bit of mobility or escapes, I think Gulgate is actually quite good on. We have first blood on bot side, Absol goes down. Adesu picks up the first kill of the game. Probably to a stacking Absol who just died stacking. We have human picking up 7 right here, he's gonna start scoring 2, same for Adesu. And Toonstam is here now, he has the try attack, he's gonna do a lot of damage right here, and that should be KOs right now. Adesu dropping already super low, has the eject button, but human is not as lucky and he's gonna go down. That's the Gulgate issue though, he has no escapes. We eject no X speed for him. Now Toon Slim's gonna start scoring 19 points for himself. And he's gonna be quite happy trying to get the slow to level 4 right now. He's gonna score more points for the attack weight. At top lane, we also have a K. We have a double K on top side for Team Spain. Looking at the spot side though, so doing quite well there with the Azumari. Nice Greninja gank apparently. Working out great for Team Spain. Toon Slim might look for some invading now. He's level 7, he's very strong. Like a Greninja level 6 has no chance against it, against level 7 Dodrio. You will see. Look at this boosted auto attack damage. Next boosted auto attack and he's gonna be dead. Oh, he doesn't make it over the wall. Like one boosted auto attack is half of Greninja's HP right now, which is absolutely crazy. It is so underestimated how much Dodrio can do. And he's still gonna be in this jungle. He's gonna look around. He's gonna look for this Greninja. Can he find it? No. But he's gonna still make the ball toy. And now the Greninja is very really sad. And now this is just Toon Slim's game to play. It will be his game. He's gonna jump over and run away from now. He's gonna go to human. He just goes back into the enemy jungle. Has to be a bit careful. But here's the jump kick. To just get across walls too. And he's gonna turn around. He's gonna turn to Blissey. He just won't be freeing them in their own jungle. They have no chance against this Dodrio right now. Harry is scoring five points. Kun Slim, is he finally gonna go down? No, he still lives this way. He might turn it around. Next boost auto attack. No, he actually just loses. Chooses to escape. But look, Harry goes down on the top for Team UK. He's going for bottom lane gank now. He's gonna steal away the berries, just walk through. And he does. Does he have score sheet? I wasn't quite sure. And he just goes in again! Next boost auto attack could maybe reach him? No, it can't. The flux zone. The, the flux zone actually cancels your passive. Which is quite sad, so. You actually cannot keep up your passive in the flux zone. The slow is too much. But Adesu goes down, another try attack. I'm just gonna follow Tuna around. We're just gonna follow Tuna around for this match. He's gonna try and score points right here. Let's just get the first score done so you can get this next one done. Jump kicks away now. Lissy almost KOing him. Gonna steal another buff away. Me and my top lane team Spain is looking for this VJ Lakey, but Toon can maybe still make it in time. Oh, so is trying to buy time but goes down. Kun is use its unite move. Toon is maybe on the way, but no, not in time. Also getting chased down by a Blissey. So you can't quite do much more. And uh, going back to his own buffs. Gonna pick up this red buff for free. Actually, the egg bomb! <laughs> Human now it's like, yeah, what? You steal our buffs, I'm gonna take your buff. Bombs it with the egg, and now Zuma might get a KO. Does, does Zuma have Unite? Yes, Zuma has Unite. Oh, but Toon trying to dodge it with Unite with himself. While it's not enough, he gets finally picked off. 
by Azumaru. And David is going very aggressively with the Whirlpool and play rough Azumaru. Going on to Plasmo, who is only level 7, so can't quite defend this too much, probably. Has to run now, find the pushes here. Has the Psycho Cut, but the Night Slash misses. Flame, of course, back in, but he has Unite move. He's gonna pick up the Azumaru. Human, does he have Unite move himself? He does have Unite move up. Is there other gonna look for something? I guess to just serves Hydro Pumps. Find a push into his team. There's the Unite move, hitting two characters. Plasmo's also gonna fall to the Hydro Pump. Shinoa is going quite deep right here. Has to be careful. Toon doesn't have Unite move now, and Team Spain is looking for this Red Eyes. Toon Slim is diving in again, jump kicking out. Shinoa has Unite move up, and Krenner is waiting for him to press it. Is he gonna press it? This Unite goes in. There it is, but now he's in a quite bad position. But he's still gonna kill Azumaril! Wait, he's doing so much damage and I can't KO him! He, he dives! Oh my god, he dived over the surf. He still falls in the end, but very well done by the Cramorant. Actually, I can't believe it. And now Toon is picking up a Quadra KO! For this Dodrio! It was absolute monster this match. I honestly like, just couldn't kick Cramorant, they didn't have enough damage apparently. I thought he was just gonna go down there, but no. He was living long enough. To just deal enough damage on his Unite move. Now Toon Slim is looking for more. And another Egg Bomb <laughs> steals another buff away. Oh, and now Toon really wants to KO this Blissey now. Two buffs stolen from this Blissey Egg Bomb, and there we go. Now he can he, now he can go for Human. Auto attacks with a Tri Attack in. Making a force boosted Auto Attack to recharge. Another Tri Attack, and Blissey goes down. Now it's hit, but he can score bot lane right here. He can just make his way to bot lane. I don't think Adesu can beat there in time. But he actually doesn't have Score Shield, so okay. Scores one time at least. Still pretty decent. And he can maybe even fight this. In 1v1, Dojo is super, super strong. Very, very strong in 1v1. Try Tech goes in again. Jumps over Adesu. And waiting for Snake's boosted auto attack, but actually, is he gonna go back in? Yeah, he's gonna KO. No, the surf is there though. Adesu against Toon Slim, the two stars of two, the both teams fighting each other on both sides. Who's gonna be. <laughs> who's gonna go for a Toon Slim this time? Missing the Try Tech, missing the boosted auto attack, the surf. Can't catch Dodio as well, and he's gonna keep going. Another boost auto attack, but there's the eject button on. And the perfect full heal. These two players are just going at each other. But a perfect full heal as well. After eject Blast Toys, unite to make sure that he doesn't die. And gets away. <laughs> Those two players having fun on both sides. Very fun, 1v1. And I guess, I mean, I guess Toon won, because he got Blast Toys Unite out for free. And Toon still has its own Unite now. If he wants to use it, I don't think he will, but maybe to save Plasma Raid, he is here on the 4 Unite move. Could be the last time. David is going in. Jump kick doesn't make quite make it over the wall. Yes, Azumar Unite onto Toon Slim. And he just gets blown into pieces by it. And Azumar is so strong right now. The play rough, he has no chance. Gets double stunned by David. Play rough again. But David's trap dropping also very low now. But has the Blissey Unite, uh, Blissey heals on him. And he's gonna live. Find a push diving back in. He gets 1k on the Vicky Tough and he jack buttons away. Nicely played by him. Now we have red munch legs on this Lucari, which we haven't seen him again yet because we are so focusing on the Dodrio, who's also still here with the power punch. But David it just seems unkillable right now. But the telekinesis is enough! And the Psycho Cut. Night Slash picks him out. Final push now, level 40 on the subsoil. But <laughs> Lucario recalling in a bad position. He gets hydro pumped. He didn't even plan to kill him, I think. He was just aiming for the others. And caught the Lucario there. And Adesu! Buying so much time on the surf. Hydro Pump Blast Toys, but I think he's gonna fall finally. Toon Slim goes in and KOs him. Now Toon Slim looking for the next person. Stisho is being attacked. Jump kick onto the Wigglytuff. And he's just poking, he's just playing around. But this play rough is so annoying. The play rough is actually very hard for Dodi to deal with. Plasmo's gonna fall. 15 seconds until Rayquaza. 40 point lead for Team Spain. It's gonna be interesting late game. Both teams, we miss a Bliss Unite and a Blasters Unite on the side of Team Spain, so they still need to farm those right now. Adesu hitting level 13. He's probably close to it. I'm not sure how much Bliss he has on its Unite move. And both teams are just waiting right now. They know that Team Spain is currently head in points, so Team UK has to look for something, but they already have Dodu lurking down bot side. But they're kind of aware of it. They know. You always have to defend kind of goals now, but you have to still make sure that your Quarter doesn't get flipped. It's much squishier, so it's a very difficult game right now to play. Backdooring is strong, but so is the killing Rayquaza. Gotta make the right decisions. Adesu dropping, jumping into Munch Legs. I just, did I just lose sound? No, I didn't lose sound. And Toon Slim scoring the points now, which puts him UK in the lead. There we go, he finally done it. He's getting chased though. If he falls asleep right here, he has the full heal for the thing. 
Has to be careful. Stish was on the chase. One serve could be enough. But he just takes him down into the Unite move tool with a huge play on Dodrio. Changey sees him with the Unite, bursts him down, and one shot see Greninja. Wonderfully played by him on the backside of Vf Adesu with the Unite move. But we have already Azumari also going down. Final push going for Adesu. Adesu is going to fall. Blastoise is down. Three KOs on the side of Team UK. And Toon Slim. Looking for Mono. Looking for the Rayquaza. Can the Egg Bomb steal the way? There's the Bliss Unite flying in. Vigli Tuff is still full HP. Toon Slim is actually going to fall right here. The Egg Bomb. No, Lucario Unite should be enough to... No, wait. Blissey gets it. Blissey actually gets it. He has stolen buffs this game. And now he's going to steal Rayquaza. What? The two pink blobs might have just won the game. Can they respawn in time to defend this? No, they can't. Final push also goes down. They're all dead. And Team Spain is somehow going to win this game. Team Spain is somehow going to win it. On the back of the two pink round blobs. No way. Blissey gets it. What a game by to Toon Slim. But yeah, they go down <laughs> to Rayquaza last hitting. And we have another game coming up, guys. This means we get a game number four. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Toon had a nice game on Dodrio. It's really showing the potential of this Pokemon. 109,000 damage on the Dodrio. Really showing the potential. What this Pokemon can actually do. Uh, there we go. Five speedsters for Team Spain. Absol, Dodrio, Talon, Gengar, and Zara. Can five speedsters beat Lucario, Blastoise, Slowbro, Bustle, and Cramorant? Are you going to find out? We have probably for the first time ever a five speedster team comp in a tournament setting. What can those five speedsters do for Team Spain? We have Adesso and Dodrio, and we have Toon Slim back on the Bustle. Interesting. Five speedsters. One girl character for the Town of Flame. Besides that, only a blue. Look at all those blue backgrounds. A five speedster team comp. I mean, it can finally happen since the release of Dodrio. We can finally have a full team of speedsters. So it's probably the first time this has happened. At least in a tournament. And we have Human going for an invade. He is currently looking for the invade. Onto Toon Slam. But the Ambassador is pretty good early game, so has to be careful. He does a lot of damage early game. His attack just got buffed as well, so he has even more damage early game now. Fasting also got a buff, Mega Punch got a buff. But Tunnel Flame is very patient, and there he goes, and with the Acrobatics. And he's able to get the buff. And Toon is just like, really, man? What is that? Are, are you serious? And the other buff also gets stolen. Toon is just like, done with this. He's like, no, man, really? <laughs> and now they're gonna start scoring. His other buff is also gone. And the two speeds are running around the map already, and Toon is just not having a great day, probably, after this match. After this game. He's gonna discover his other buff is gone as well. He's gonna start looking for a gank now. Top side, we have first blood though for Team UK. Little Blast Toys, I mean, Little Squirt is able to pick up first blast onto the Dodo. And now Toon Slim is here. Human is very deep as well. Can he get his blue buff back? He jack buttons after him, and the face thing is enough. And he gets his blue buff at least back. For now. He's gonna look for level 5 now. He's gonna start fighting his face singer. Does crazy damage early game. Can he use it? Has the face singer probably up any second now? Look at this damage. And another mega punch. He tries to, tries to follow. He's still 1 HP and Toon is gonna live. Toon is gonna live after all of this. And they claim two more KOs on this top side. Absolutely massive. Go get that goes in. And team Spain doing some scoring on bot side. And now invades are happening again. Humans already going for this. Can he do it before Toon is there? Toon is just gonna go for the wrap-up, most likely. It looks like he does. Can he even kill this in time? Or he's leech life. He should be able to get it in time. And Talon Flame is gonna look for this now, but I think this time Toon should have it just barely. Yes, he does have it. Well, he's getting one of his buffs this time around. And Adesu is just trying to be annoying on this dojo already. Shinoa, David, up so he claims the Cramorant. And they're gonna score more points right here. mid Itaria score to the side of UK, though they're all rotating towards it. And Toon is gonna get most of these. One side we have Stisho just farming. And top side the speeds just keep scoring onto this top goal. They just don't care. They just keep scoring. But Stisho's gonna fall. Nice gank by Final Push and Toon Slim. Curry and Basso able to claim this KO. And it's gonna score some points as well. Gonna, are they gonna break this goal? Nah, he's gonna let Lucario score some more points first for his attack bait. And now Plasmo might be able to finish off this goal. There we go. Holds Team UK into a lead. Absol top side diving in. And there's a Gengar with a flank. And he's getting a reset. 
And Crumorant also falls. Another KO, KO for the five speedster team of Team Spain. And they're gonna score more points. They're gonna break the score too. But maybe a few more points as well. There we go. Making sure everyone gets their attack rate stacks in. What side though? Toon, very aggressive. He's gonna kill the Tarn on Flame. And gonna go for the next buff as well now. Which he should be able to get. No one of Team Spain is close. Team Spain is just caring about this right now. The Reggie Elite on top side. And look how fast it died! It just gets bursted down from all the speedsters. On top side. Psycho card lands on Plasmo. He is slowed. And we have a drill pack. This time we have a drill pack. Interesting. <laughs> That's just running for its life. And do you get out? Yes. Oh my god, just barely makes it away. Doom Slim on the flank. He misses the leech life, but the punch is enough. Absol goes into the wall and goes down. But we have still Tunnel for uh, We have Gengar. And Gengar gets the KO. Messes up its Unite move a bit. Eject buttons after Lucario. Find a push. Trying to run. Shadow Ball hits. So this one it hits. And Reggie Lecky is almost killing Cromorant. Has to be careful right here. Not to go down to the <laughs> Reggie Lecky. And now Gengar's here. He could maybe look for this. Yeah, he's gonna maybe kill someone. Oh, I think he messed up a bit. But Reggie Lecky is still hitting as well. And Gengar goes down. Yeah, messed up a tiny bit there. And it cost him its life. Veggie Rock being taken. And it's running in for Plasmo. The Drake, the real pack into the wall. Plasmo's dropping super, super low. Has the surf to buy more time, but the white charge is enough to take him down. And Veggie Rock will be taken by the team Spain. Unless, unless two slip it. <laughs> he goes down. Veggie Rock claims Dodrio. And now they still get the Ridge Rock at least. Upso Unite is able to just barely escape, but the Unite with Lucario is there, but he still goes down to zero as well. What a fiesta in this fight on bot side. What a close, close fight. And Ostisho? Don't take to the Atarias. Okay, okay. Almost pulling a Nudo there. But Dodio claiming. Getting claimed by <laughs> Ridge Rock there. And that's on the chase. Ostisho now has the drill pack. Is he gonna keep chasing? He's gonna keep chasing, right? Surely. He has the boost auto tag ready. There we go, goes in. He's gonna wait for his next boost auto attack. He's gonna charge up his passive. Another drill pack. No, he just boost auto attacks instead. Agility, boost auto attack again. And claim is another KO for the Dodrio. Toons him, punching him into leech life. Gets instant revenge on the Basol. Now, human with the fly is gonna just escape. No, he's going towards the enemy jungle. It's a ghost fed tool on the other side again. Leech life in the Absol. Gets Psycho Cut, Night Slash. He might just go down here. Has Unite move. He's gonna chase Absol and he takes him down. Toon Slim with the Unite move. He also has a full, full charge leech life right now if he can get in range. But no. Cormorant claims the KO in the aura. And now Dodrio is diving in. <laughs> he just gets punched at the end into leech life. But there's the. Was it agility cleansing the leech life? And now this goes down. But so does Toon Slim. Two KOs for both sides right now. Slowly Knight onto the Tarn of Flame. Can they finish off human? Has the fly. He's gonna look for Cormorant instead of escaping because he has Unite move up. That move only hits the Slowbro though, but Cormorant goes down to Absol. And now Slowbro gets psycho cutted, white charged, also taken down. Man, five speedsters just make the game so alive. <laughs> There's just so much action. Because they just want to look for chaos over and over again. It's absolutely crazy. And that move goes on to Reggie Lake. He just makes sure they confirm it. Final push is probably gonna fall as well. Has some E speeds? And you go back to the spawn rush, they know it all. They're just waiting for it. But has United move up? Can he at least get one KO? No, he can't. Gets traded. It doesn't get the trade, I mean. And goes down. Or oh, Dreamita lands, but Shadow Ball, not enough. And can't reach it. So Reggie Lecky gets defended by Team UK. And Adesso is super deep right here. But has the agility boost out attack, goes across the wall, and just runs away. We have a 40 point lead for Team Spain still. He's just looking for topside. Oh, he's seeing that. There's someone there. He has to build up his passive. But he's not gonna look for a score right now. He's just gonna recoil. Then you get to full HP. And bot lane, we have Reggie Rock spawning again. Psycho Cut lands on the slow bro. But David gets punched by Basso, he gets leech lived and goes down. Human trying his best with the tower flame United to do something. But two now says Unite, but he goes down. A two for one for Team Spain. But now the Kremrant is here. He's gonna dive in and he just gets blown into pieces. <laughs> he has no chance. He gets blown into pieces. Triple KO for the Zaora. There's just so much damage on the side of Team Spain. And he just gets absolutely murdered by the speedsters. <laughs> just uh, what an hilarious match. What a hilarious match. We have 50 seconds left for the last two minutes. And uh, let's see how the speedsters can uh, fight in late game, because that's probably the... They will struggle the hardest in a late game team fight, especially against Blasters Unite. Against Slowbrew Unite. It's gonna be quite, quite difficult. And that's just toying with them on top side. Going for Plasmo. The Dream Eater sadly misses. And uh, he's diving in again. Has to be careful though. This water spot could be enough damage to take him down, and it does. 
Plus, it's doing a tail more damage for a defender and is able to take down Dodrio quite easy. I don't think I would take this. Yeah, don't take this jump, my guy. <laughs> don't, don't do it. It's called the Sin Syndrome, but you don't do it. You don't have to take every dream meter you hit. And he's smart enough not to do it. Alright, back are spawning. Which team is gonna go for it? Is anyone gonna, gonna go for it? Dodrio and Tunflame is trying to score, but he gets caught! And Toon Slim! Leech life is enough to take him down. Final Flame couldn't get his unit without Wush of Saints he seed. Now Team UK is starting Rayquaza. They're gonna start hitting it. They have to force the speedsters in. But Absol one shots the slow bro from the side with Nightstash Sucker Punch. Toon Slam. Oh my god, that was such an unfortunate smackdown. He lands, Absol lands behind the wall, but he doesn't. Rack here on the back side, he's in a, a, a dream meter. Onto Toon. Toon has to be super careful here. But has he has a full leech life? No, it gets cancelled by this Zero Unite. But Toon Slim! With the Buster United is able to still take him down. It's a 1 for 2 so far in favor of Team Spain. David is diving in again. Next Night Slash should be able to kill Blastoise right here. Does he get it? The focus band is enough. He misses the second Night Slash. And the Blastoise lives. Tunnel Flame is down. Zaora is down. And UK currently more up, but they're still 40 points behind. They need to score. There's another Dream Eater landing. Onto a Slowbro though, so not the, quite the target you're looking for. And UK is starting Rayquaza again. They want to bait the speedsters in. Team Spain has to do something about it. And Cromoran says Unite. That's actually a good position right here. He can't really die. And Gengar's dropping super super low on HP. And Rayquaza's just gonna go down. Can Gengar get it? Can Absol get it? No. Team UK claims Rayquaza. Being more numbers up. And now it's not quite over yet. Human can maybe score. Zora can score. But uh, there's probably 500 points almost going in for Team UK right here. Yeah, they're all gonna score. What a crazy fun match this was. But Team UK claims it in the end. And the speedster sadly... Did not manage to win this one, but they made this game quite exciting. They made it very, very exciting. Time's up. GG's. That's right. That's right, their best.